the sun, the source of life on Earth. Without it, we'd all die. And many of us can't get enough of it. But for an incredibly rare few, even tiny doses are life-threatening. Hidden beneath this protective suit is 19-year-old Rafi Strauss. Without it, he would die. I've, I've, I've had um, every, every known tumor um, or, or cancer, uh, cancer that there is, basically. Do you want? Oh. <laughs> Rafi's one of fewer than a thousand people in the whole world to suffer one of the rarest genetic disorders. It's called xeroderma pigmentosa, or XP. His skin can't repair the damage done by UV light, like the rest of us can. XP can be certainly considered a lethal disease because uh, in the end, most people with XP will die from the consequences of one of their skin cancers. Rafi was born in Israel when very little was known about XP. Being premature, he was put in an incubator with UV lights to keep him warm. The fluorescent light, so it sort of, you know, who knew then anything, but it sort of cooked me and it gave us a, gave me a head start. Not knowing what was wrong with Rafi, his mother continued to treat him like any child. After the first time that I went with him to the sun, the, the sunburn was very, very red. His skin was different, like very, very red. I was scared that I cooked him in the sun. By age one, doctors had diagnosed him with the rare and incurable XP. To save Rafi's life, his parents were advised to move to a place where the sun wasn't as intense as Israel. So they moved to New York. The way that he explained it to us, he told us that the highest amount of ultraviolet rays that would be here in the United States would be the lowest in Israel. But even low levels of UV can cause deadly damage to Rafi's sensitive skin. So doctors warned him not to go outside during the day. And that's meant a nocturnal existence. Because his skin can't repair the damage from UV rays, he's got 2,000 times the chance of getting skin cancer. It can be sunburned within you know, a few seconds of going outside on a bright day. The damage done early in his life hit him like a death sentence. I was about 13 years old, 13, 14 years old, um, when they had removed the big um, the big tumor from the left cheek. And basically, this is, this is the area where the tumor was, and they had removed the cheekbone. To fill in the hole where his cheekbone was, doctors had to reroute a facial muscle, and months of radiation therapy seems to have stopped that tumor. Because of his exposure to ultraviolet light and to the damage to his skin that's occurred, Rafi's had literally hundreds of biopsies and skin cancer surgeries over his short lifetime so far. As a mother crying to see my, ch my son going through so many surgeries and difficult dealing with all this. Fortunately for Rafi, there's a new technique for detecting cancerous cells during surgery. Called Mohs surgery, it allows doctors to find cancerous cells as they go. It means surgeons need now only remove as much skin as absolutely necessary. XP is potentially lethal disease, um, and obviously if we're not vigilant and we miss a skin cancer and it has the chance to spread, that could surely be lethal. Rafi's skin is so sun sensitive, he's not even safe in his own home. He needs to monitor the light coming through their tinted windows. I don't even try to just step outside. Um, just opening the door either to get the mail um, is potential for damage. Just even if I'm sitting in the living room and someone opens the front door and the light comes in, it's that's also, I mean, it's enough to get damage. Rafi has to be constantly vigilant, checking for any potential cancers. It's a daily ritual which could save his life. Firstly, 
He looks for any new suspect spots and then coats himself in a special cream, which helps destroy any developing cancer cells he can't see. Now um, that I'm taking care of myself and using all the precautions, that uh, there is hope and we're still waiting for new research to come out. There's still the gene therapy that's, that's everyone I ask, they say it's around the corner. So there, there, there's a lot of hope to see for. I was worried about his future and the reason is because everything looked like mess. You don't know what you're dealing with and where it's going to end and God forbid if he will die. The doctors can remove his skin cancers and this special safety suit can remove the risk of getting new ones. Like those worn by the astronauts, it blocks out 99.9% .9 of UV rays. Donated by the Sarah Moody Foundation, it's given him a new lease on life. He's no longer a prisoner in his own home. Getting that one thing that lets me go outside for, you know, feeling free and not feeling uh, that I'm going outside and I'm getting damaged and, and regretting every time I open the door or something. So it's, it's, it's great help. Even with the suit, life is never going to be anything like normal for Rafi. At the moment, he can't beat this cruel genetic disorder, but he manages to live through it with the strength of his family and his faith. God only gives people what they can, they can accept, what they can deal with. And thank God I've been dealing with it till now. <laughs> Rafi's future remains uncertain, but one thing's for sure, he's going to make the most of every single day with five loving brothers and sisters. For Rafi, time with his family is precious, and they too feel blessed. Thank you. That's the best blessing you could get.